Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we're going to cross vacuum chamber underwater with 40 ton hydraulic press. And as a vacuum chamber, we have glass jars and bottles today. And because there isn't any like inlet that you can hook up your vacuum pump, I had to go creative with the uh, vacuum creation. And I decided to use the method where you fill the vessel with water and then you microwave it and yeah, there's some metal parts that really doesn't like to be microwaved, but I did it anyway, don't try that at home. And while you are microwaving the thing, I had the uh, lid almost closed, so there's only small gap. And when it gets hot enough, the water starts to boil, it generates a lot of water vapor and that replaces the air inside of the glass jar. Then you just close the lid fast before the water vapor condenses away and the air rushes in. And if you manage to do that, all you have to do is to cool down the jar and you have pretty goddamn good vacuum. I think the water and the jar there is about 10 degrees Celsius. So the pressure inside of the jar is this. So basically it's a vacuum when you compare it to the normal air pressure here in the room. So when this broke, it should implode pretty goddamn fast. And I have my uh, Kronos 2.1 high speed camera running. So we're going to get nice high speed of the implosion. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, that was pretty strong. Uh, it's hard to say how good the vacuum was on your bare eyes, because of course it's going to explode. I think there was maybe five tons or something like that force, but let's have a look on the high speed. I think this is going to tell the whole story. Okay, here it goes. This is uh, about 2000 frames per second. Hey, yeah, that's super nice. Super nice! This is so cool! Oh, that was so nice! Uh, I have second jar also. I fill it with like boiling water and then close the lid because the microwaving look at pretty sketch. But I think this worked so well that I have to microwave also the second one. And let's cross it in different orientation and I also increase the frame rate on the high speed camera for that. Okay, same trick. Faster frame rate on the high speed camera and different orientation. So should be even better. Okay, I think that was way different. The jar was much weaker on this direction. I'm not sure did we have as good vacuum as on the first try. But that's going to be found out when we look the high speed. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, not as good as on the first go, because there is bubble coming out. There was lower pressure than your typical pressure, but it wasn't so good vacuum as on the first go. I want to try one more thing, now glass bottle. Okay, now we have glass bottle and I think it doesn't look very good. It might be that the uh, bottle cap isn't good enough. Uh, I'm not brave enough to put like hot bottle there into cold water in case it implodes. 
vacuum chambers are quite dangerous when they implode, especially glass ones. So you have to be really careful with these ones. But uh, let's see how this goes. Okay. I think it was decent vacuum because it was like foggy or there's like water droplets on inside and when it went in they disappeared really fast. So let's have a look on the high speed. Yeah, the water rushes in, but let's see, is there any gas bubbles coming out? Takes quite long time to fill up with the bottle. Yeah, that was good. No, no air bubbles at all. Yeah, it takes surprisingly long time to fill up. Yeah, I think this is going to look really nice on the big screen. It's hard to say from the camera sound screen what's going on. And of course the resolution is quite small with this frame rate. Yeah, but everything gets filled up and no air comes out. So that was, this is like good proof how good vacuum you can make on this method. Yeah, so there you go with the vacuum chamber crushings underwater. I think this worked it out way better than I thought. And if you have more interesting ideas like this, please let me know. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.